Good day, this is Mr. Kays and we are uh, continuing on with World War II. And the title today is Allied Victory. Allied Victory. U.S. focus is on the European theater. When the United States gets in the war, they had to pick, is it the, the Nazis or the Japanese that are the greatest threat right now? Well, it was the Nazis. So the United States sent most of their troops to the European theater. Now, where do they land? Well, they can land in Britain, but they land, they strike in North Africa and Southern Europe first. They strike in North Africa and Southern Europe first. An important battle in North Africa is the Battle of El Alamein, which is in Egypt. The British push Rommel's Africa Corps west. They push Rommel's Africa Corps west. I'll spell it. R-O-M-M-E-L apostrophe S. Rommel. Remember, Erwin Rommel is the desert fox, German tank commander. He pushes Rommel's Africa Corps, A-F-R-I-K-A, K-O-R-P-S, westward. And they're going to pinch the Germans between the British in Egypt and the United States in Libya. The supreme commander of the European theater is Dwight David Eisenhower. He's a United States general and, by the way, future president of the United States. He led forces eastward. He led forces eastward to crush the Africa Corps in 1943. He led forces, allied forces eastward to crush the Africa Corps in 1943. Meanwhile, in Russia, the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942 was a Nazi attempt to seize, S-E-I-Z-E, -E, seize oil fields in southern USSR. It was an attempt to seize oil fields in southern USSR. The Russians hold the city. The Russians hold the city. And a counterattack puts the Nazis on a defensive. A counterattack puts the Nazis on the defensive. Stalingrad was bombed into the Stone Age, but the Russians held. And by holding the city, the, the Nazis weren't able to go beyond that and get to the oil fields. A counterattack puts the Nazis on a defensive. Counterattack puts the Nazis on a defensive. And here now, the Allied forces crush the Nazis in Africa. They crush the Nazis in Africa. So where do the Nazis go? They hop, skip, and a jump across the Mediterranean to Sicily, and then Italy, who are their allies. The, the Nazis move to Italy, and it's during this time that Mussolini is toppled from power. Mussolini is toppled from power. Who kills Mussolini? The Italians. Well, isn't Mussolini Italian? Yes, his own people were t was tired of his rule, and they captured him, and he was trying to escape. They captured him, and they killed him, and hung him by piano wire outside the city for people to spit on. So he's later executed in Milan. Mussolini is toppled from power, and later executed in Milan. This is 1943. So things are moving the Allies' way. The Allied forces are supported by home front. The Allied forces are supported by the home front. What does that mean? Men, women, and children in the United States start to get behind the war effort. How do they do that? They produce war material to help win the war. They produce war material to win the war. Women go into the factories to make planes, tanks, bombers, etc., etc. They are like Rosie the Riveter. They produce war material to help win the war. Kids would go from place to place collecting scrap metal so it could be melted down into war material. They mobilize for total war, mobilizing for total war, rationing, and propaganda efforts. They mobilizing for total war, rationing, and propaganda efforts. What's rationing mean? Well, it means that you can't have all the steak, gasoline, and cigarettes that you want. It's going to be shared with the uh, men on the, on the uh, battlefront. 
So you had to sacrifice. You couldn't have all you wanted. And then propaganda efforts were posters and songs and movies that supported the war effort. We got a big problem though. We have a large Japanese American population on the West Coast. They were seen as a threat. So Japanese Americans were sent to internment camps in 1942. They were sent to internment camps in 1942. If they lived on the coast of California, they were brought into the interior to Arizona and Nevada so they could not um, sabotage um, ships. They could not contact uh, Japanese submarines, etc., etc. And these folks might have been God-fearing patriotic Americans. They just happened to look like the enemy, so they were taken out of their homes forcibly and their shops were closed and they lost their businesses and they had to live in internment camps not concentration camps but internment camps until the war was over it was definitely a violation of their constitutional rights as citizens but that's for another time this is mr. K's with 32.4 a I'm out